Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Peace and blessing be all of you uh, Okay guys, thanks for joining RNA Design Hub uh, In today's video, we are going to install the SketchUp 2018 in our Linux desktop environment For those of you who doesn't know what SketchUp is and what is it actually used for So uh, usually as an architect, uh, we use SketchUp for designing and developing our design for those of you that doesn't know about it that yet so you can open the www.sketchup.com and you can read many stuff here uh, but before we start I'll show you what is actually my desktop environment so if I type NeoFetch here oh it's already shown, shown here yeah. so um, I'm using uh, the Linux Mint 21 this is the current latest version of Linux Mint. It's actually, it's actually uh, Ubuntu Chemi, uh, and this is the LDS version. So you do not need to worry about uh, the security of your system. Okay. Uh, before we start, uh, we need to download our SketchUp file first. Uh, I'll give the link in the description, so uh, you can just go to this website. Because uh, currently SketchUp 2018 is not uh, in the in this download section because usually they keep uh, the current latest two version uh, from the latest one. So you can download it from here. SketchUp 3D dot D, and this is uh, and I use the English version. This one you can download it here. And then uh, you can keep it running until it's finished downloading. And then after that, uh, you need to go to this uh, WineHQ packages. Uh, for those of you that don't know what is actually Wine, Wine is actually um, Wine is the acronym of Wine is not emulator. So it's actually a kind of compatibility layer to run Windows application in Linux desktop environment. So. Uh, uh, we need to download the current latest version of the wine and this is actually the latest one you can read it from here the winehk.org slash ubuntu because we use ubuntu okay um we need to copy and paste this stuff this okay um okay so let's start installing wine first Okay, we need to add the 32-bit architecture first. Copy and paste like this. And enter your password. Something like that. And then after that, uh, we need to sudo app update. And also sudo app upgrade first. Okay. After that, we need to run this repo. Copy this. Paste. And then copy paste this. Okay. Good. And then, because we are using the Linux Mint 21, which is actually Ubuntu 22 Chemi Jellyfish, we need to uh, copy and paste this and paste it to your terminal. Okay, let it finish. After that, we need to re-update again. and then we need to install uh, you can choose three versions of wine uh, the first one is the stable and the development and then the staging the staging is currently is actually the latest version but usually it got like something like bug or something like that uh, i will recommend you to use the development branch and also the stable branch 
but if you need the stable version because you do not want to mess with your uh, system actually this tool is uh, really good because usually i use the development but for this uh, purpose of tutorial i will use or i will install the stable version paste it here okay we need to download some stuff here let it finish uh, i will make the video faster so you do not need to wait uh, for the installation okay once it finished uh, we can try to check if uh, our wine has already been installed successfully we can type wine wine dash dash version So we are currently running the wine seven. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, we can check the wine CFG to check the config and also uh, running our first uh, wine uh, folder. This one uh, in home dot wine. Okay. Good. It's running perfectly okay cool so now we are running the wine 7.0.1 which is good okay uh, and after that uh after installing the wine that's the first step and then we need to install the wine tricks wine tricks is actually uh uh the extension of wine to install uh, many dependencies for in before we install our software in this case a uh, sketchup 2018 so we will need wine tricks to install some extension before our dependencies or requirements before installing the sketchup so we need to uh get the latest one of wine tricks we can get it from here i'll leave the link in the description you can you can just copy and paste it here go to home download and then we need to download this we get Okay. Cool. And then we need to ch more this. And then we need to move it to here. User dot pin slash wine trick. Okay. Okay, let's check our download folder first and this ones this is the wine tricks and we need to copy this to our user pin here user dot pin uh, we need to open this as root first so that we can um, access this file and then paste it here okay close close good okay we can uh type cd and then we can try out whether our wine tricks works perfectly wine tricks okay let's try oh cool it works okay awesome okay so once the wine tricks uh has been installed correctly like this and also the wine we need some we need to install some dependencies for our sketchup okay i will zoom this first and then probably clear it like this okay uh we will try to install the dependencies for sketchup with this we will need to run the comment you can just copy and paste it from my description wine tricks like this and then we need to install first core fonts this is actually the fonts for the wine the wine or wine is not emulator uh the tahoma the font and then we need to also install dot net 
four five two and then gdi plus like this and then msf t edit richard uh 20 this is actually really important for layout because without this our layout our sketchup layout will crash reached 20 and then reached 30 this is also and this one rich rich tx rich text 32 so this three extension is really uh, important for layout without that our sketchup layout will um, crash and also we need to run pc run 2005 and then pc run 2013 and also pc run 2019 so if we install the 2019 version we will get the 2015 until 2019 version so this is actually kind of like uh, the compilation of VC run from 2015 to 2019 but this one is different for a 2013 one so we need to keep it installed and then after that we need to install VC run 6 and then VC run 6 SP6 like this okay let's check out Wine tricks, okay. Core fonts, ta Tahoma, dot net four five two GDI plus MSFT edit rich twenty rich thirty rich twenty. Okay, okay. It seems everything's work, and then we can press enter. Okay, so now uh, it start installing, and then we just need to be relaxed and take your coffee or your tea or everything and let's the computer to the rest we just need to wait until it finished and then we can start to install the sketcher okay okay so now we need to in we will install the .NET Framework 4, uh, we just need to press the XAMP and then install everything like that until it's finished because we are trying to install the version of 4.5.2 therefore uh, we will need to install the version 4 first and then it will like kind of upgrade the .NET Framework this is really important because um, if we use the wine that is actually comes with uh, ubuntu 22 or with linux mint um, it will crash because it will install the version 6 of wine therefore it it kind of doesn't work with the dotnet framework 452 therefore we need to install the wine from the wine hq website like what we did earlier finish now we are going to install the 4.5.2 i think yep we are installing the 4.5.2 net from net frame dot net framework it means uh, this wine version works with the .NET Framework version. Okay, cool. So now we are installing the file for 4.5.2. Okay, cool. Yep, it works.
actually uh, before installing and making this tutorial i installed the default wine version of linux mint and it was wine version 6.0.3 i think and whenever i tried to install the dotnet 4.5.2 it gives me like broken state that therefore it doesn't work you just need to un uninstall that and then you need to reinstall the wine using the wine from the wine hq website okay let's keep it finish okay cool finished and then we need to restart later or restart now it doesn't matter it will not restart your computer literally because it's actually restarting the wine not your computer not your linux system okay so now we are installing the gdi plus okay so now we are installing the reached x extension which is essential for uh the layout sketch up the sketch up layout I mean. and this one is actually we are installing the Visual C VC run two thousand and okay. Yes, yes. Read install. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, it's this one's what I said earlier if we install the 2019 version we will call we will get the 2015 to 2019 extension which is really good yeah like a comp compilation rather than just uh, one by one this is much more efficient okay it's finished okay i'll clear this first okay we will need to check if uh the extension already installed successfully uh, we will need to check the wine uninstaller. Okay, so it's installed correctly, yeah? Okay, cool. And we need to install the wine CFG. Sorry. Wine CFG. Okay, so uh, we will need to add two extension here. Wait. We will need to uh, new override for library. We will need to enter the C T L three D. 32 ctl 3d 32 add and then we will need another one mft 140 u mfc 140 u add okay apply you can select a windows 7 it doesn't matter okay so it's finished okay we can close this oh yeah um i just want to give you some advice if you do not want to type a wine comment to make it just easier for you uh, we can install this uh wine desktop for this open the your distribution of software center and then click uh type wine so see don't install wine from this version because it will gives you crash something like this it will gives you crash if you want to install the dotnet 4 uh, 452 to install this version of wine uh, we will need to install this wine desktop file it will make your life much easier install okay enter your password whatever your password is Okay, cool. 
okay if we installed it's already checked like this we can check here and then we can type wine it will give you this this is wine cfg so you do not need to type in terminal this is much more easier for me because it's more like windows version and if you want to check the wine uninstaller you can just click it from here and then yeah, your life will be much more easier with that okay so now where everything is already installed we can install the sketchup where is my downloaded version of sketchup i think it's here open it okay okay so this is our install version of sketchup we can need to double click it okay and then it will install like actually it's like a windows machine running in linux and then yeah we can just double click and everything will work because why handle it okay install okay we just need to wait 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 install install okay cool Okay, finish. So your SketchUp is installed and finished. Okay, so this is uh, the shortcut. We can click the SketchUp first. We will check whether it works perfectly or not. Okay, three. And uh, don't forget, if you have the license, you can add your license here. But because this is actually the tutorial how to install it. I will not enter the license uh, just for the sake of this tutorial we will um, use the trial version which is actually 30 days okay start using sketchup uh, i usually use the uh, architectural uh, not meter but millimeter this one okay cool remind me later then it works perfectly fine you can add the um, large tool set okay. let's check out okay where is the guy is the person okay this one okay so it works perfectly fine yep cool um okay so now uh we will need to check whether the layout works perfectly um i will minimize this and layout yep okay So I will delete this. Uh, we will make this looks better, or it's actually just we need to double click. Okay, so the layout works perfectly. Well, close uh, whatever your paper is. Okay, so. I will finish this so that it's actually what I but this is actually not whatever design whatever your design is you can design whatever you want but this is actually just to check whether the layout works perfectly okay we will try to save this first let's give it like some color This is actually not the tutorial for SketchUp, but I will just make it so that it looks kind of a little bit pretty. 
little bit that but this is actually not a real building yeah it's just uh for demonstrating that it works okay let's make it something like this let's pretend that this is actually the building but it's not actually okay so let's make it like this So something like this okay and then we need to save this first uh whatever uh we can type like s or something s and then uh from this layout you just need to file insert um document s okay and then whatever Whatever your style is, maybe if you want to make uh, your style styles, maybe like default style, but without the background, so whiteboard like this, and then uh, you can choose whether this one is actually. A perspective or without perspective I mean parallel and then you can also double click it and then rotate it whatever and then you can also give the dimension something like this this and this probably I will make a, a separate tutorial about this but this is just to show you that it works yeah and then whatever you give it the name testing layout okay and then you can make this bigger style and then bold or something 24 this one oh uh, if you need the color you can um, from this you can keep it style default style uh in model style oh yeah i forgot i think it should be here uh we need to change the style default style but this one's shaded with texture so it's white and then you can save it and then after that we can click here and then the document setup this one this we can update it this one's double because it gets red means that we need to update this okay so once it gets updated like this, we can choose it here. Shade it with texture. Ah, this is what I mean. Okay, we can get the color and then also the dimension and then the text and then we can save it as we can. You can save whatever. Put it like here. Probably you can test the layout. You can also export this as PDF. Export as PDF something like this probably here test pdf okay export once finished this is your exported file and it's very easy and quick yeah okay and then uh the last one we will check whether the style also works style builder double click it okay yep it works okay so everything works perfectly okay okay guys that is actually how to install the sketchup uh, from installing wine until wine tricks 
and up to installing the SketchUp and how to use it and also how to use the layout and also the style builder everything's work perfectly okay guys thanks very much thanks for watching and see you soon okay Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Peace and blessing be upon all of you. Bye-bye.